Hello, 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 all you wonderful, beautiful people. My name is Renee, and welcome to Gangalize Treasures. For you, for a bit. Why is my tongue tied already? I've had coffee. Oh my gosh, I should start over, but I'm not gonna. This is just real. I, I don't um, practice any of this. Um, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, you know that my daughter and I go on thrifting adventures. And um, we are back at one of my favorite places. I don't think we've been here for almost a year. So I'm sure they have new stuff. This is River West Antique Mall. This is the place that um, has the one little booth. It's kind of a little alcove that Romanda calls the Cave of Wonders. They have wonderful, wonderful stuff. And um, we're gonna go in and see if we can find any treasure. What I really want to find is not only treasure, but treasure that will sell quickly. As you know, I am um, wanting to make my store better. And instead of just having all mid-century, vintage, antique, retro, all those kind of items, those are all wonderful. And I have a lot. Y'all should go look at the eBay store. Um, the link is in the description. Um, but I'd like to find some things that sell faster. Um, we did get rid of all of the shoes except for two pair. We have a pair of women's Nautilus hiking waterproof boots and the other is a men's pair of Vans, which I can't, I don't understand why the Vans haven't sold yet. But um, anyway, let's go in here and see if we can find some treasure. Of course, it takes me about 10 minutes to get ready. But for you, I'll see you in the blink of an eye. And right in the door, we see the pumpkin sign and this beautiful atomic mid-century modern. Oh, look, they have it on the deck. Um, would be for hors d'oeuvres, candy. Um, it sits on a tray. It goes around. It was beautiful, but it was $69. So I don't think there's any resale room in there. Look at this beautiful art glass bowl. Let's tip it over. Is there a maker's mark? No. This is a nappy dish. And it's $10. And I don't know a lot about the nappy dishes. There's lots of recording equipment, stereo equipment, and look! Grapes. My mom had some of these. I don't know. I think they're glass. I don't think they're lucite or bakelite or any of that other fancy stuff. These are just the glass ones. And I don't really know if the glass ones sell. I probably should have looked it up. But look, I got squirrel. All those beautiful vases in the window. And um, Better Homes cookbook. I have one of these at home. No, I don't. I gave it to Amanda. Um, but we use ours all the time. I used it when I had it, and I'm guessing Romenda uses it too. And a brass horse. And they want $15 for him. So I don't think that's enough of a brass horse for us to be able to resell. Sugar Creek Creamery Company, that is one of their milk jugs. That's what they used to put milk in to get it from the barn to the coolers. Lamps, hats, license tags, and this beautiful hutch. Like, I'm more in love with the hutch than I am with the things around it, with the lanterns and lights and stuff. Beautiful suitcases. Um, and the blue one that's on that page, uh, Amanda actually has at least one of those, if not two. She might have a brown one. And she uses it just like that uh, for display. And an Oster. Oh, my gosh. They only want $25 for it. I should come back. i got to think about it. But I should probably get it. And I should probably get it for me. These were cute, but I didn't understand whether they would be ashtrays. They do say camel on them, but there's really no place to put a cigarette. Or are they shot glasses? Do you use them to mix drinks with? If you know, let me know in the comments. And old newspapers even look. The last photos of Elvis. Elvis has left the building. Lots of stickers. A Roadrunner Plymouth sign. Um, pop bottle openers. The old, old, old pop bottle. Oh, look at that cookie jar. Isn't that just cute? Oh, it's a pretty cool looking teapot, too. I'm going to check them both out, except I'm not going to pick up the 
cookie jar because I have to lean over things and I would hate to lift something up and drop it. Same thing about the teapot. I'm not going to lift that up. I would have liked to have lifted up. But look at this. Isn't this cute? Such a pretty color. And that petal inside. Uh, look at my wonderful camera work. There's my finger. Makes it look like that there's, you know, like a sticker inside, but it's not inside. It's the petals that are painted on the outside. But there's only the creamer. And $12. It's really cute, but there's no sugar bowl to go with it. But here is a kitty creamer or a kitty water pitcher. I know lots of people like kitties, and it is marked on the bottom, Shawnee. Shawnee Pottery USA, $27.99. Would you have bought that one? Let me know in the comments. It looked like um, a meat grinder up there, that metal piece. Oh, look, little clay pots for 50 cents a piece. It's probably cheaper than you can get them at Amazon or um, Walmart. Oh, is, could this be a Coca-Cola cooler? I'm not going to move everything to look to see if it says Coca-Cola, but it's red. My parents had one like this when we had our barn dance, and, but they had the full size one. The hip came all the way up to an adult hip and had two side-by-sides. Texas, Texaco sign. Here's an old iron. Just set it someplace on top of the stove and let it get hot. Brass bookends. And I haven't gotten into the brass. Do I need to? Does it sell well? Again, let me know in the comments. They want $40 for these two, so they like these two a lot. These are not to buy for resale. And I like these little punch, tin punch, I guess you call it tin punch candle holders. Sure, they really make really pretty lights on the wall. And I had one of these when I was little, or my mom had one. She only wants $2 for that one. Oh, and there's two. Are they the same? Yes, they are the same. But I don't know if they have resale value. Look at all the old spice containers and coffee containers. springs. Anybody need springs for a bed? And a lamp bottom and a corbels hold up your walls and a blow mold. Everybody talks about the blow mold and how wonderful they are and this one was. And now I am sitting in the dark. We have lost electricity here but anyway the glow mold was a small one. It um, was comparable to what was priced on eBay and most of the ones on eBay had hats. This is a Aqua Ice Omatic. You put the ice in there and you turn the handle and it crushes your ice. And books. We have books here too. Sorry, I hope I didn't make you queasy. An adorable little tea set with little flowers. It must be worth lots of money because it is behind a locked door. But I am admiring the wood that is the cabinet that I think is absolutely gorgeous and dolls and cupies this whole booth is Tupperware I'm gonna look at the sale box and oh look at these I had these I have these had these I have these said I use Tupperware look at all the Tupperware oh my goodness how cool and Corel they have the gold the green the blue such beautiful and look at this purse I found in the next booth isn't that I did have to cut out part I did find some beige luster wear tea set but I didn't um, find comps for it that were suggested that I should buy it and, but this was kind of cool with all the New York lights on it and an apple water pitcher Probably should have checked out that sugar bowl, but it didn't have a creamer with it. And you know me, I like to have a sugar in a creamer. And that's got a bunch of farm type stuff in it, not what I'm into. And look at that quilt. Oh my gosh. 
And that dresser right there is just absolutely gorgeous. But I have to actually move the chair. And then I have to go around this pot handle to be able to get into the booth. Cute rocker, but I was really interested in the blanket. But I don't want to take the blanket out because then I would knock the doll down that looks like a little person. Lots of antique tins. And look at this beautiful pot. Such flowers. And I can't read how much it is. I am on a very short time frame today, but I'm not going to leave until we see the Cave of Wonders. I probably should have started from the beginning and showed you, but this is, I passed part of it, but this is what Romanda and I call the Cave of Wonders. There is so much stuff in here. I could probably do a whole 15-20 minute video just on this little alcove. And um, I'm in love with that lamp. There's a chicken. He's metal. I know there's some people that like chickens. I wanted to see um, how much the lamp was. And I believe it was $39. And there's a globe. And look, the, the shelves are just packed. There's just so much to look at. Look at that beautiful green owl. He's glass. I thought maybe he was a bank, but he's not. He's just a solid, big, green owl. And this is a beautiful set, if you like fruits and flowers on your tea sets. And uh, there's just so much, I don't even know where to start. But I do love coming in here. Look at that lusterware. Salt and pepper. That would be vinegar and oil. And I'm not sure what would be in the one in the middle that I'm picking up right now. But vinegar and oil go in the back. And $14.99 for the whole set. Lots of trinket boxes. Lots of jewelry boxes. I love that they have everything kind of grouped together. Um, I like the one with the with the blue flowers on it. I like this one uh, because it's ceramic, has little trees on it. There are, this one was so cute. This would be if you knew somebody that was Irish. It was only $5.99. But I have trinket boxes still out in my garage that are listed that haven't sold yet. And um, piggies and piggy banks. There's Andy. I don't know where Raggedy Ann is. There's a juicer. That's what juicers used to be. You used to have to do it with your hand. And shot glasses and juice glasses. And I'm just going to back up here a little bit. i got to show you these shelf tubes. This is the shelf where they had the giant carousel last time we were here. And um, this vase was $9.99. It has a very nice clear bottom. It was a pinched bowl. Um, that would be one of those I would um, pick up and it would be very difficult for me to release. This was very pretty. Tall. Um, we go with fall decorations. There's a little bit of yellow on it. But I'm going to set it back up there very carefully. I almost used two hands. And their prices are reasonable if you're going to buy for you. I'm finding it difficult in the antique stores that I have in my area to find things that have enough room for resale. All kinds of steins. Um, I believe last time we were here, Amanda bought uh, an antique stein for her brother while we were in here. There's bells. They have rolling pins. And in that jar is the California raisins. I was like, what is that? I was like, oh, it's not candy. It's the California raisins. Are any of you out there old enough to remember the California Raisins? I thought this box was um, quite the thing. But I couldn't get it open with one hand, so sorry, you're not going to see the inside of it. Look at this beauty. I would take it home for me. It's so pretty. And it's purple. It's even signed on the bottom. Oh my goodness, and a cute teapot sitting beside it. How much is the vase? I looked at it. It's only $7.99. That I probably... Lots and lots of treasure, but 
nothing that was in the right price to be able to resell. And to be honest, the research I did, I don't think there was anything that had a really high sell-through rate. Um, but we didn't see the whole place, so um, we could be back sometime quite soon. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this uh, short trip. Um, and go ahead and um, like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you would have bought, what you wouldn't have bought. If I missed something, if there was something on the shelf that I didn't see that has a really good sell-through rate, let me know. I'm always wanting to learn from you guys and enjoy reading your comments. We thank you so much. I appreciate all of you that have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed and you've made it this far through the video, go ahead and subscribe so you know when our next videos come out. And I don't know where the next place I'm going to go is going to be. So you really do need to subscribe so you can, so you can find out. I'm thinking about going out of town and um, trying out some new stores. But until then, remember that you're blessed to be a blessing. So go out and make today a great day.